Google is preparing a new device to make our television smart, and in addition to being cheaper than the Chromecast 4K that it offers now, it will also have some interesting advantages over its predecessors. Chromecast HD will be the new cheap device with Google TV and Android 12. In this video, we will unveil some of the interesting features of this new device, so make sure you stick with me to the end. Now, without any further delay, let's get into the video, starting with the arrival of a new model of the Chromecast. Google TV is getting closer to being a multimedia player, and more information is coming out about what it will do. One example is that both the device's processor and how it will connect to the internet are known, as well as an extra detail that can come as a big surprise and make it very appealing. Up until now, all we knew about the new model was that it would look the same as the old one, though it might have a different color and in addition, the highest resolution that it will use will be 1080p rather than the 4K that is now accessible on devices that support it. This is likely done to compete with Amazon's Fire TV, which is getting more and more popular and is sold for less. By the way, according to the information we have, the operating system would be Google TV 12, which would make it the first Chromecast model to use it. Also, security updates will happen often, and they'll use the AB system so they don't leave any traces that take up storage space. So, what improvement will this new Chromecast come with? Well, it has to do with how much space the device gives you to store things like apps. The one that Chromecast has on the market right now is 8GB, which has been shown not to be a enough in many cases, especially because of updates. But the new model could double this number, and this change could come with another 4K device. In reality, this would give the new device a lot more freedom, which would show in how everything works. On the other hand, the processor will also be different. The Amlogic S85X2 will be used because the latest Chromecast firmware has been found to work with Google TV 4K, rather than the S95X3. This one isn't all that strong, which makes sense since you won't have to work with images with a lower resolution. When running apps applications, you wouldn't notice a drop in performance. Also, it was already known that the RAM would be 1.5 gigabytes, which is 25% less than the previous model. All of this makes sense, but it needs to be thought about. Okay, let's talk about how it will handle connectivity. Given that the name of the device in the firmware containing the information is Google HD, it must be said that the wireless connection choices will be sufficient for everything to function properly, including the transmission of images at 1080p. Thus, the fifth version of Wi-Fi Dual Band and Bluetooth 5.2 will be utilized. Consequently, there should be no issue here. In other news, let's discuss what profiles on Chromecast with Google TV is for. An update for the Chromecast media player with Google TV has rolled out. Apart from the usual improvements in stability and speed, a new function has been added that is perfect to improve the use by all members of the family, the creation of personal profiles. This feature, highly anticipated by users due to the way it allows you to customize the device, is now a reality. In the event that you don't have the corresponding update installed, the normal thing is that if you carry out a search manually, and as long as you have access to the internet, the new version is detected and installed. We recommend that you do this, as you'll not encounter any performance issues. It's an improvement that is obviously quite positive in Chromecast. Nevertheless, something you should be clear about is that only the model that has the Google TV operating system can use the option to use profiles. Earlier versions of the player do not have the ability to take advantage of this feature. The fact is that this function, which was announced last year, finally has a wide enough deployment to be a new function in its own right in the accessory we're talking about. The benefits of having this new option in Chromecasts are quite interesting. To begin with, each member of the family can have one, which means that as content is consumed, personalized recommendations are received. But, in addition, the the user interface can be configured so that it's adapted to the tastes of each user, both in visualization and in the applications that are highlighted. Even the follow-up lists become more useful for each person, or the possibilities of recommendation in the searches are exactly the ones you need, not the one that has a hodgepodge of information from each person in the house. So, how easy is creating profiles? This is something that Google has worked on excellently. Since you simply have to access the initial screen of the Chromecast and access the image of the profile that is open, at the moment, you'll see that there's an icon icon with the plus symbol, which is the one you must use to create a new one. From that moment, when the player starts, or directly from the initial screen of the user interface, it will be possible to access the new profile in the Google TV operating system. Therefore, by simply using the remote control, you can achieve this, a good option that, for sure, you use constantly in case you try it. So, what next? Let's talk about Google TV's update. Now, it's faster and takes up less storage. When it comes to using televisions and other types of multimedia devices, the 
Google TV operating system is among the very finest that are currently available. Obviously, there are aspects of the development that may be enhanced, such as the amount of space that it requires on the devices on which it's installed. And, from what's just been known, the Mountain View company is going to take action on the matter. This is because, as Google itself has announced, it had just released an update for Google TV that will include improvements that are very important. Perhaps not so much in what has to do with the usability and aesthetics of the work, but in the way it works, which will be much better in almost all sections. This is great news for people who have computers with the operating system we are talking about. So, what advances in Google TV storage will it bring? Well, because the needs for work were so high in terms of the amount of space it consumes on the computer on which it is installed, manufacturers were forced to increase the amount of storage available in TVs and players that utilize this operating system to 16 gigabytes. But, with the new update, things are going to change quite a bit. The reason is that a tool will be included that will allow you to clear the cache in a similar way to what already happens in the Chromecast player. This was the primary offender responsible for unduly loading the memory with data that the user does not find very relevant. And what's even worse is that the deletion was not carried out correctly in many instances when the TV was switched off. As a result, it's a fantastic suggestion, and the feature for it can be found in the settings of the app system menu under the storage heading. To put it another way, getting to it won't be a problem at all. What additional enhancements came packaged with the upgrade? The fact that the performance of the equipment, whether they are multimedia players or smart TVs, considerably rises while performing activities is one of the factors that is guaranteed to be relevant to users. On the one hand, the amount of RAM that the operating system needs to work has been lowered, which enables a better experience with the programs that are now running. In addition, the company has also indicated that fewer processor resources are consumed when using Google TV. So, we're talking about greater speed when doing any action without having to update the hardware. In this, by the way, the best cache management also has a lot to do with it. A very clear example of what I mean here is that the user interface now takes much less time to load. In addition, options that already existed in Google TV have also been optimized, such as the management of applications that work in the background or a better execution of the tabs that exist to access specific content, such as those that exist in Live. The fact is that this is one of those updates that is worth installing from the moment it's available, the good part being that you'll receive a notice on TV when it's available. So that concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Also, do let me know in the comment section what excites you most about Chromecast HD. Thanks for watching and see you next time.